There are many currents in Earth's oceans. Surface currents are moved by winds. Some surface currents, shown in red, transport warm water from the equator to the poles. This is true of a current called the Gulf Stream. Other surface currents, shown in blue, carry cold water from the poles to the equator. The California current is an example. Wind doesn't move water in the deep ocean. Currents in the deep ocean are, instead, driven by differences in density. Here's how it works. As water moves north, it gets colder. Its salinity also increases because some of the water freezes and forms sea ice, leaving saltier water behind. That cold, salty water is dense and sinks to the bottom of the ocean. The dense water travels slowly south along the ocean floor, while water at the icy surface flows north to replace the water that sank. An effect called upwelling causes the opposite motion. When winds push water away from shore, cold water from the deep ocean rises to replace it. Upwelling mixes deep water and surface water. It also carries nutrients from the ocean floor to its surface, providing food for a variety of living things there. The deep currents caused by density differences and upwelling are connected to surface currents. They form a circulation system called the Global Ocean Conveyor Belt. This system gets its name from the conveyor belts that you might see carrying objects in a factory. The Global Ocean Conveyor Belt moves water through all the oceans. The direction of the currents is affected by topography. Where the ocean is shallow, like here in the southern Atlantic, the currents turn. As deep currents travel toward the equator, they become warmer. This makes the water less dense. As the density decreases, the deep currents rise to meet the surface currents. This occurs in the Indian and Northern Pacific Oceans. Water travels slowly along the ocean conveyor belt, so slowly that it takes more than 1,000 years for a drop of water to complete the loop.